Hi everyone, I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about um, how to dial into a BBS with your Commodore Forever Wi-Fi modem. Um, some people have some issues. I think this might help it out, help them out. Well, I already have a video posted of how to set up your Wi-Fi modem. Uh, I got it pinned in my video section on my Facebook page, so check it out. That'll help you get it set up. Now, what do you do once you have it set up? Well, you should already know how to load the uh, terminal program because you needed it to set up the Wi-Fi modem. So I'm just going to load up my terminal program. And you can see my Wi-Fi modem is active. It's there. It's got its IP address. So in my Wi-Fi modems, there is uh, an address book, so to speak. Um, I populate it with my bulletin boards, and you can add your you know, other ones later on. But for right now, we're going to go through the basics of how to type in the address and log on to a bulletin board. Now, all of them are a little bit different, uh, the bulletin board services, but um, they're all basically the same. You just type in the address. You have to give a command to dial, which is A-T-D-T, -T, and then you type in the address of the bulletin board. Oops. Okay, that quick. That's how you connect. And it's going to ask you, does your terminal program support Commodore graphics? Uh, if you're using CCGMS like I suggest, then yes, it does. So choose Y for yes. Loads up the main welcome screen. Now it's asking you to log in. Now, if this is your first time ever being on a bulletin board, that particular one, you're going to need to create an account. Um, you see right here it says enter the member number or new to register. So what we're going to do is enter new. Now, on my bulletin board, um, you can ask for help. And it'll give you some information on how to email me for help. Or if you just don't want to do it, you can hit exit and get right out of here without even trying to create an account. But we're going to create an account. So we type in new, press return. That's going to ask you what nickname or handle do you want to use on this bulletin board. Uh, just you know, just make up one. Uh, whatever you, you know, if you already have one that you use, whatever. It's going to check the membership file to make sure there isn't already an account with that nickname or handle. Now, like I said, most most bulletin boards are going to be just like this. They may vary a little bit, but it'll be very similar to this. Uh, enter password. Okay, now, when you're first creating your accounts, you need to read the screens <laughs> and make sure you understand what it's telling you. Uh, this is just saying that remember your member number because that's what you're gonna use to log in each time. You're not gonna use your handle. That just shows up messages, uh, posts, things like that. But most bulletin boards use a member number. So here's your member number. Just reminding you what your password is. It says make note of it. And now they're just asking you for a little bit more information. On mine, all I'm asking for is your first name and where you're at. That's it. It's going to ask you if you're correct. And bam, now you have access to the bulletin board. Okay. This is your main menu prompt. If you don't know what to do, question mark. Um, most all bulletin boards have a way to list what's going on. You see up here you can read, post, uh, quick read, feedback, downloads, this and that. There's a few games here. You just enter the number or the letter of what you want to do. Uh, most uh, most of them will be similar to this. They're all going to have a little bit different commands. Uh, to, on mine, to get to the message boards, which is where everybody chit chats, you just press R. It loads up the message board. It's going to ask you, do you want to 
read just a specific category? If so, you enter the letter of the category. It's gonna ask which message do you wanna start with. Since you're a new member, it's gonna start you with the very first one that's available. My bulletin board only holds 100 messages at a time, so the very first one available would be the newest message minus 100. So we don't wanna read 100 messages on the first login, so we can just type in one that's close to the newest message. So 1747 is the last message posted, so I'm gonna to go to 1740. And it starts showing you the messages. Um, right here, it tells you what to do every time. Return takes you to the next message. Uh, if you want to reply to it, you hit A. You can reply to this message. Uh, if you want to quit reading all the messages, just press Q. It takes you back to the main mes uh, message prompt. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, just, you know, play around with it. The biggest no-no on any bulletin board system is don't just turn off. Don't just flip your computer off because it will mess up these programs because they open files and they leave those files open until they're told to close them again. So it can cause issues if you just turn off your computer. Log off. Um, right here at my main menu prompt, it tells you to quickly log off. Just press Z. It'll take you right out of here. Uh, Hit the wrong key. Hit Z. Boom. Ask if you want to leave a message for the next um, person that's going to call in. If you don't, just hit return. Boom, you're out of there. It's done. That simple. Um, all bulletin board, uh, all sysops, they do not want you to just turn your computer off. So log off. You know, do the right thing. <laughs> all right. That tells you. That, that'll get you into pretty much any bulletin board out there. Uh, it may vary a little bit, but it's going to be close to that. All right.